Hey guys, welcome to The Right Thing and today we're going to be talking about how to be yourself. So point number one is everyone feels insecure at some point. Most people feel insecure and usually it's a sign that you're maybe in the wrong situation or you're hanging around with the wrong people or it's just not the right time for you to be in a situation like that. Many of us have had experiences that we're dealing with or we're going through a rough patch in life where we need to go deal with that issue before we can just throw ourselves into social situations. I remember I was going through depression at one point in my life and then I tried to get straight back in with my friends and I really struggled. I started having panic attacks, started having anxiety attacks and I had to go deal with the things that I was challenged with at the time before I can go back into those situations. Apart from that, what it could be is that you're just hanging around with the wrong people. These just might not be people who resonate with who you are as a person. Maybe you are someone who's into games and these people are not into games and you just need to find your tribe. It's all about finding your tribe. That could be gamers, that could be footballers or that could be a church. If you're struggling to fit in anywhere then maybe you're someone who needs to join church. Point number two is don't just follow the crowd. You've heard it before, I know you have, but do we actually do it? I think this is something that we can struggle as human beings. We love to conform. We love to feel comfortable. We love to feel like we're like everyone else or we're part of something. But sometimes it isn't right to go by what everyone else is doing, especially if you know it's not true to yourself. And so this is something I have done. I'm definitely guilty of. I very easily um, go by the crowd. I very easily do what everyone else is doing, but it doesn't make me feel like myself it doesn't make me feel true and so if you really want to be true to yourself if you want to know how to be you have to break that mold you have to break that spirit of conformity also to add to that there was a guy called Earl Nightingale who said that the opposite of courage in today's society isn't being a coward but it's conformity and that's the problem with most people today is that rather than standing out you know, having that courage to be different and not fit in, but be ourselves. We go the cowardice way and we conform because we want to fit in. We don't want to be that person that can get bullied or attacked because that's how you can feel when you stand out. You feel like you're the person who's going to get get mobbed. Yeah. But, um, but we don't want to be those people. If you want to be yourself, you're going to have to have courage. You're going to have to be bold in situations where you might not agree with what people are doing. Point number three is don't do anything that you feel is wrong. The Bible says that God has given a conscience to each and every single one of us. And that conscience is something that we need to pay attention to. I think so many of us, especially amongst men, I think this is ripe amongst men, do things even though we know they're not right. You see this in bullying, you see this in people getting involved in sexual relationships when they feel it's wrong. You, you see this in so many areas of life, drugs, alcohol, where people will allow themselves to do things that they feel is wrong to fit into a crowd. The challenge with this, which it can seem harmless, it can seem like it's worth it to get friends, it's worth it to fit in. The challenge with it is two things, shame and regret. These are things which will stay with you. You can't unforget the times where you compromised on what you knew was right to fit in. Shame and regret are really awful feelings and they're not worth it. They're not worth those extra friends. They're not worth that extra like, that extra comment. They're not worth that attention from that guy or that girl. They're not worth it. You hear people say, I have no regrets. I'm glad of everything that I did because it got me to where I am today. That is not good advice. That isn't anything that anyone should listen to because yes, it might mold you as a person, but it doesn't mean that you don't feel bad for the people that you hurt along the way. So generally just don't do anything that you feel is wrong. Okay guys, so that is the video on how to be yourself. And to summarize, point number one is it's okay to feel insecure. Everyone does. Point number two is don't do things just because everyone else is doing it. And point number three is don't do anything that goes against your conscience. Don't do anything that is wrong, that you feel is wrong and isn't right. 
Yes, and also if you really want to be yourself, the best way is to find out how the person who made you tells you how to live, tells you how to be yourself, tells you who you truly are. And the person who made you is God. And the way to find out who you really are is through the Bible. So if you're interested, me and my wife, we do personal Bible studies, me and my Oa, and uh, we would love to help you guys. We'd love to help explain to you how the Bible works and how to apply it to your life. If that's you, then please drop us a DM or drop a comment in the video. Let us know and we will get in contact and we can set something up. But until then, keep doing the right thing.